Welcome to another He Said, She Said, and this is episode 5, 10, 15, and 2 makes it 17. 17. Yeah. Episode 17. I love this stuff. And for the first time tuning in, my name is Ronald Johnson. And what I do is I help high performers that are facing burnout. So if you're one creative life you dream about, this is what can help you because a fulfilling life is within your hands. And of course, we got to hit that bat, hit a grand <laughs> slam right to the knees. And, and I'll catch that ball run. Thanks very much. I am Denise Lewis, and I have a company called GrandSlamCoaching.com, and I help people with their performance, be it on the athletic field or off. So if you're in the boardroom, the classroom, or the courtroom, I want to help you bring your best game, be the best person that you can be in all areas of your life. And today we have a super fun topic, Ron. Do you want to introduce yes. it? You know what? How many of us have had an off day? I'm going to raise my hand. How many of you have had more than one off day? Raise my hand. How many of you have had millions of off days? I'm going to raise both hands. How many people oh. have had off days on video and then posted it to LinkedIn and Facebook? Yes, you yes. have to. You raise your hand. I have to. I have to. I yes, have you. put it out there on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Because guess what? We're human beings and we cannot be perfect because I don't know anybody perfect for one. Second thing being is that we're going to have emotional experiences. We're going to feel a certain way. Are we going to behave a certain way? Are we going to make a mistake? Whatever yeah. it may be. It could force you to just have an off day. And so what happens when you don't bring your A game wrong? Because we've both had off days and not brought our A game to this, to these podcasts. You had one and then I had one. I had one first. So what happens now? That's a good question. So let's put it per person. When I have my off days, depending upon the commitment I have, I've commitment to this podcast, um, I showed up. Even though I didn't show up the way I, I wanted to, I didn't like, I told you after the podcast, hey, I just, I even said the wrong website, <laughs> let yeah. alone I had a really major <laughs> off day, okay? So I just showed up the best I could. That's all I did. And, yeah. and the best thing about that is after we had our conversation, I didn't tend to judge myself. So we, we have an off day. What tends to happen, we judge ourselves. Oh, I should have done this better. Oh, man, I don't know if I would have done this. Oh, I'm so wrong. Oh, I'm doing this. I just put my head on my hands. I was like, look, sorry, Denise, I'm just having an off day. Because we tend to, when we do have off days, we tend to want to judge ourselves. I should have been better at this. So-and-so is better at that. Oh, I, I should have studied more. I should have prepared more. But instead of realizing what you have learned, instead of thinking about, well, that's just one off day. I got many more off, off days or many more days where I can get better. Taking mm -hmm. that off day and realizing, wait a minute, like I did with you, I had a commitment to the podcast. Now, does it tell me next time I podcast and I have an off day, should I just, hey, reschedule it? We can. Just because I want to show up authentic, that's a choice. I had a choice to, to text you and say, hey, look, I can't show up because I can't do, I'm not feeling well or I showed up. I have integrity to value and the value is showing up people because the time is important. So time is important to me as a value. Should I show it up because it's a value for me? But at the same time, did I give you guys out there or Denise 100%? No, let's be honest. So I, I, next time it happens, I say, hey, look, Denise, I can't show up. This is what's going on. So we can schedule better times so I can be 100%. And say, look, it is what it is. It is what's a day that I wasn't 100%. It's not the end of the world. And don't judge myself. And, you know, those are all very fair points and, and very fair comments. And, and the fact that you want to be your authentic self 100% of the time is really, really awesome. And that speaks very well for your character and your work ethic. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that you chose on that day not to be, not to reschedule and to uh, live up to your commitment, also very commendable. But I think the only thing that could have changed that you possibly could have done better is simply communicate. Mm -hmm. And I may have, I may have been in the position to say, you know what, Ron, I really can't do it any other time. We're just going to have to roll with it. Or sure, we can absolutely reschedule. Now, a couple of weeks before you had your off day, I had my off day. It kind of worked to my advantage because it came a little mini coaching session for me. <laughs> and what yes, turned into advantage for both of us is showing our coaching skills, you know, live and online. I too could have made a choice to reach out and contacted you and said, hey, 
can't do it, not in the mood, not feeling great. Um, but, but we didn't, and that's okay. And you're right, Ron, we shouldn't judge ourselves. I think if you have to do an after the fact little armchair quarterbacking, just look at anything that was truly important. Mm -hmm. For example, it's hot today. I drove my son to school because I always drive him to school because then he walks home for his PE credit. And he said to me today, mom, it's gonna be kind of hot. If you are available, will you come pick me up? Because usually I'm at work and he has to walk home and there's no choice. And part of me was like, I really want to study. I got stuff to do. I want to be at PE credit. So if I make that choice not to show up and make him walk home, is that something I could fix if I'm not having a good day? Yeah, I can totally fix that. And that's mm -hmm. not going to be a huge effort if I happen to be in a space where I'm having a bad day. So True with that. So where's the, so it's all about priority. It's hopefully taking something that's re really small because I bring him joy, which will then bring me joy. Maybe that'll help get me out of it. Mm. Yeah, the roundabout way I'm going with that. You try and figure out, you know, your time. Yeah. Trying to figure out how to get him going, pick him up or walks home. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you judging yourself in this moment? No, I'm not judging myself, but it's if, but if you're having an off day, see, I kind of came around this part of the topic in a really wrong way. My, my train just like left the station without me. I, I'm, I'm already over here having lunch with my mother and doing Mother's Day in a little bit. So sorry about that, but okay. So having an off day, um, <clears throat> it, it, maybe it's just a small task. Each little small task, each little baby step might help you get out of that bad day. And if it's mm. taking the dog and jumping in the car and going to get my boy from school, instead of making the teenager walk home, maybe the joy on his face and on Coco's face will lift me out of the bad day. Mm. Maybe that, saying, that, you see? And that's what I want to say right there brings up a point of, you know, we tend to want to label things as, I just had a bad day and sit with that. But we never look at whatever that element is. Let's say for yourself, case, pick yourself for school, even though it may be time out your day, but smile on his face, smile on his face will provide you a level of happiness. Mm -hmm. So as we want to focus on what we did wrong, let's focus on what, what's positive out of that. Because the more we focus on the elements of positivity in our situation, the more it allows us to savor that moment. Like even for a split second, having a smile on your son's face, Coco's wagging her tail, she's super happy. Wow, all that frustration, picking him up, you know, the time, all that stuff dissipates. It's yep. almost like a wave, gone. So as, as that, that comes to having off day is, what moment of that day where, let's say the morning had a bad meeting, but the rest of the day is not totally shot, what can you do to make up for it? Or what can you do to offset that? It could be a level, I'm having a bad day. You know, if you could, if you're in San Diego, let's say, you can go walk on the beach. Mm -hmm. If you're having a bad day, you could read a book. If you have a bad day, you can take a nap. That's take a nap. Day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> or if you have a bad day, just, just write a letter to yourself saying, look, I have a bad day, but this is not the end of the world. We can always supplement things when you have an off day for something much more positive. And the reason you want to add more positive to it is that Having a bad meeting or having an off day can get you having not just one hour of off day, but two hours, three hours, even a 24 hour period I have an off day. But I will consider this though, let's not negate the fact that having an off day, there are many moments of emotion in that day that you have to sit with or mutter over it or you know think about it because you wanna acknowledge what happened before you just write it off. You wanna acknowledge the fact you had feelings in that. It can be feelings of hurt, feelings of resentment, and start making it. I've had, this has been seven days of being off. Not just last week from being sick, I had seven extra days of being off. Oh and my this, God, it's a world record uh, for Ron. Seven days of not being 100% Ron. It's not, it's not at all. This and is not good. This is not good. I, I did now have to sit with it this morning, say to myself, how do I want to show up? What are my feelings? what's really happening with me and i had to sit with it really and say okay because what off day doesn't always include it's not just about yourself but may include somebody else 
mm-hmm. right? So if you include somebody else, then what about that situation that you could have done better? Or what about the situation that you're being so forceful on your part, but not seeing another person's part? So that's in my case, but I don't know if they, I'm looking at only my view of blinders on, but I'm not looking at their view. So I had to almost put my, my set my shoes on my feet and put it in their feet and see what's really happening. See what the change I need to make for myself. Because when you have a person, we have all they would, we feel one thing pointing at you, three people pointing back. So something wrong with me that I need to change to make it a better day. So that's that's another twist to that as we have off day and includes <clears throat> somebody else. Yes, and your off day does affect other people. For example, yesterday, or what day is today? Thir- Thursday, today's Thursday. Yeah. Tuesday, I had to close the store, so I was there till 1 a.m. I had to be back up, walk the dog, get the boy to school at eight, and then be back in the pharmacy at 11 a.m. So this oh, is 10 wow. hours later, right? I maybe had three hours of sleep. So, and I love working in the pharmacy. The people are great. The job, it's just a little bit different. It's fun and it's super cool. So I get in there and I was exhausted. And after about an hour, I was like, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just having an off day. I'm just really tired. They're like, don't worry about it. So <clears throat> by communicating with them, yes, they needed more from me. I did get all of my stuff done. I did eventually perk up. Um, but I communicated with them. And in, so what they did was say, okay, you know what, let's do the warm up stuff first. They kind of reprioritized my day so I could still get it all done and not, don't, they didn't give me the heavy, the, the difficult brain stuff first, which I was bound to screw up. You know what I mean? They let me warm up with stuff. And that really helped because as, as I got the little stuff done, I was like, okay. I am feeling like I'm accomplishing something. It helped turn me around. Of course, of course it did. And, and that's, see, that's one element too, is communicate that. Mm-hmm. You can say to yourself, I'm having an off day. The other people are like, wait a minute, you know, Denise is kind of off or Ross is kind of off. And then they think the judge was happening. Oh, you know, I don't know what's wrong with this person. Oh my goodness, stay away from so-and-so because they're just having a bad day. Yeah. And you're simply this is you're just tired, you communicated, they were totally understanding. And guess what? They shifted to make it feasible where you can kind of get that jump start and then you get the motor running, right? Yep, exactly. And and you don't have to go into a lot of detail when you say to someone, hey man, I'm just I'm just having an off day. You can just hey, I've just got some stuff going on, I'm having an off day, or you know, in my case, I'm really tired. I've had no sleep. I'm having an off day or, you know, whatever it is, keep it simple, but communicate it, admit to it. And you will be surprised how people will then step up and actually try to help you through your day. Um, Tuesday night, this uh, one woman came in, she works the night crew, but man, she was in a bad mood. She was, and it was the end of Monopoly. She's like, all these freaking tags I got to do. And I was like, But Christy, let's talk about the fact that the Dodgers had, as much as we all hate the Dodgers, they had two grand slams in one day, in one game on Sunday, which is like unheard of. In fact, I still haven't even had the chance to look up when the last time that happened. And I said in the Giants today, their game on Monday got rained out against the Rockies. They had a double header Tuesday. The first game, first inning, not only did Brandon Crawford get a grand slam home run. Buster Posey had a, had a solo home run. They went all the way through the batting order plus. And at the end of the first, top of the first inning, they were ahead of the Rockies 10 to nothing. Wow. And I said, and, and she, she, Christy's very much in, in the A's. And I said, and, and then there's the A's who just had their 13 game, win, win, game winning streak and were really on track to break their own record of, of uh, 21 straight wins. And she was like, Oh yeah, my A's, they did really well. Ha ha. And within a few minutes, I had her laughing jokes and she's like, okay, I've let it go. Thank you so much. And went back to happily ripping apart the tags to put on the shelves and be like, you fucking dead. You know, so it just it's really great how people you recognize this person that have an off day to communicate it. You switch their moment of their moment of feeling down, upset to positivity, they were smiling, they were laughing. And regardless of what was going on. It didn't matter anymore. It didn't matter anymore. And you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And there's sometimes people are in such a foul, they're like, hey, I'm like, hey, it could be worse, it could be raining. Hey, it could be worse, we could be, you know, whatever. Because mm. it can always be worse. That's the thing about it. It could always be worse. 
that makes that makes ponder one thing now an element that i was learning the other day about mindfulness and mindfulness is really being aware of what's happening in the present moment because we tend to do things but our mind wanders off you know you'd be driving the car to your you drive a car to work you've been there so many times you don't even think about it get there right just drive there but your mind's wondering about something else and it brings a point to those out there that when you are doing an activity, become aware of where your mind is going. You know, are your thoughts, if you're working on a project or doing, let's say, coding, are you really thinking about coding or you might think about something else because you're used to doing this and you're driving you think about something else. If we bring more awareness, the whole point of mindfulness is bringing more awareness to your thoughts, and your emotions, and your feelings, not just up here, but internally. Because if you're angry, it's be expressing the body, it'd be on your face too. Bring more attention to your mindfulness. If you had a choice to your thoughts, whether they are right now, what would you think about different? Ask yourself those questions. And take a moment to really breathe. Find the anchor point in mindfulness. Breathe so you can now relax. Because you may not have a great person like Denise to get you out of that funk, but you may be able to get out of funk yourself. Especially because the term is called ruminating. Ruminating is where you think about something over and over and over and over and again. And now what you're thinking about now becomes expressed in the body. Like when I was going through my last seven days of off days, I was ruminating about it. Not just awake, but while I'm working and while I'm sleeping, my body's exhausted. I haven't done much, okay? Our ruminating, because what ruminating does is like you think about things over and over. So if you're ruminating about uh, having an off day, ruminating about something, be aware of the facts of how it's happening. And one and, skill, one skill that Ron that you need to learn or remember or get back in touch with is putting it on the back burner. I've sometimes, heard that in years. Sometimes when you ruminate, you need to put it on the back burner and you need to let it percolate or simmer for a bit. And you've just come off of seven days of doing nothing but turning, 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 turning. You admitted that you're tired. And for our, for our viewers out there, yeah, you may be having an off day, but say you're going to work, what's the most fun thing that you get to do at work? Hmm. And maybe that's what you hang your hat on. I know that the most fun thing that I get to do at work is knowing that I'm gonna see my standard clientele, my standard customers who I'm always happy to see. I know I'm going to see Paul every day about such and such time when he rides his bike coming home from work. I know I'm going to see Rich when he gets 10 past seven because the dealership closes at seven. He's in at 10 past seven. They get his teriyaki chicken and his two cans of beer. That's his reward for the end. Of the day. <laughs> He's always really nice and funny. He's always like, hi, sweetheart. Hi, darling. Hi, gorgeous. And always says something nice to me. So I always try. They try to send me out. I'm like, nope, I'm not going until Rich comes. I need my compliment today. So find the one thing that is fun with your day. And if it's really, really bad, and I've been in really bad situations before that I have nothing to hang my hat on other than it's Thursday. And Friday means happy hour? It's Thursday. How's your day going? Hey, oh, well, it's Thursday. And that's all I have to talk about. <laughs> and you, my little groundhog friend, who's been ruminating for seven days, are you tired yet? I mean, are, are, you, are you ready to say it's Thursday and it's going to be a different day today? At least I'm ready to say day. I'm ready to say I'm done with this. I need some hedonic mm -hmm. elements and happiness ASAP because whatever I'm rumoring, I'm, I'm just tired of it. I'm, I'm just, I'm completely exhausted and I don't like that person of me. So I'm tired. It's Thursday. Time for a nap. That's it. No, it's Thursday. And that's, that's it. Whenever yep. we do nothing else, it's this Thursday. And whatever happens in 10 minutes from now, one hour from now, tomorrow, it's Thursday. I'm being mindful in the present moment. And that's all I'm going to think about. So if it's Saturday, today, Saturday. That's it. Today is Saturday. That's it. And you know, it looks like you have sunshine and you have that wonderful fire pit out the back. So maybe there needs to be a pre or post dinner cocktail in front of that fire pit. I would say you're 100% accurate. It would be, I hope it would be, but clouds from the sky and rain's on its way. <laughs> That's it's called a raincoat. It's called a raincoat. But it's how do you have a fire, fire with raincoat, with, with rain? I, I can't have a fire pit going. Yeah, you can. You flip the switch. You let the fire pit go near the as the rain comes down. 
as you know, sprinkling is okay. Oh, Down okay. floors are different, but sprinkling okay. are okay. Maybe you go out and have lunch in front of your fire pit today. I was gonna say this. First of all, um, I gotta get wood. If you think about a gas fire pit, or you think about uh, a I'm log fire pit. I'm thinking a gas pit. fire pit, but but I have log. Okay, you have log. That's fine. So maybe when you go have lunch after this, go take it outside and sit in front of your fire pit outside instead of standing up at the kitchen counter and have your lunch and visualize the logs being in the fire. And I think it would be some better. Huh? I got graham crackers, I got marshmallows, and I got chocolate. Oh, dude. Sunday. And I'm going to have myself a s'mores. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go right to Lowe's, get the little log bundle thing, put it in yep. the pit, get a the stick, whatever it is, and light on fire, eat s'mores, and have a glass of wine. Maybe we smoke a cigar, but that's a different story. <laughs> oh, my see? I mean, is that not the best end of the day? How good is it to not be the groundhog and treat yourself with the s'mores? I'm going to do it this weekend. It's on my bucket list. I will do it. I want to say thank you guys out there because you allowed me to talk about my problems. I'm human. We talked about her situation. And we. I hope I gave you elements, models, examples. There's many that use a non-judgment model or the only positivity model or uh, the rumination model, but these are different models of yourself that you can use different times in your life to make you feel better. Make you least this Thursday. This is Friday. This is Saturday. These are models that you guys can use daily. Tools to make you live a better life now. Not ruminate things for seven days, ten days, or let alone twenty-four hours if you need to. Put it on a back burner. Let it ruminate, and say to yourself, "I can make it," or whatever you need to do. I want to say thank you again for listening to this episode five, ten, fifteen, and two makes it seventeen. Seventeen. I'm Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people or what I do is I really help people that are high performers that are facing burnout. So thanks for listening again. And Denise, one grand slam away for catching that ball. Well, it can't catch the ball because it's out the park. Yeah, well, yes, it's out of the park. So uh, I'm Denise Lewis. I'm with GrandSlamCoaching.com. Yes, we all need to learn how to simmer things. You don't have to be a good cook to put something on the back burner and let it simmer. Um, but just remember, try to find one positive thing, even if it's Thursday. <laughs> I love it. Start small. Do not be a groundhog like my like my colleague Ron. It's not fun. And then your teeth get all buck tooth and you get all sorts yeah. of wood in your like you, yeah. Don't be a groundhog. Don't be a groundhog. I Come present I with won't. us each and every single moment of the day. I will. And thank you guys. Thank you so much, Denise. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Have a grand slam day, guys.